大家好, in this video, I'm going to do all kinds of stances with all kinds of E for comparisons. As mentioned in the previous video, the E used on parallel step stances can be practiced on combat step stances too. Keep that in mind and let's hit the topic. Keep the expanding embracing stance. Imagine standing in a waist-deep calm lake. Use your feet to pound the ground with gentle power and then slowly lean forward with whole body. The weight of your body slowly transfers from the back sole of your feet to the front sole. When the distribution of your weight on your feet is 70% on the front sole, 30% on the back sole, lean your body backward. The weight of your body slowly transfers from the front sole to the back sole. When the distribution of your weight on your feet is 70% on the back sole and 30% on the front sole, lean your body forward. Keep the combat stance. Imagine standing in a waist deep calm lake. Beware that the original distribution of your weight on your feet is 70% on the back foot, 30% on the front foot. Use your feet to pound the ground with gentle power and then slowly lean forward with whole body. The weight of your body slowly transfers from your back foot to the front foot. Lean your body forward until when the distribution of your weight on your feet is 70% on the front foot, 30% on the back foot. Then lean backward. The weight of your body slowly transfers from the front foot to the back foot. When the distribution of your weight on your feet is back to 70% on the back foot and 30% on the front foot, lean your body forward. The E of inner leg suits for both expanding embracing stance and a combat stance. In both stances, the velocity of leaning forward and backward is uniform. The weight transfer on the feet is constant. Muscles are relaxing all the time. Imagine standing on a small boat next to shore. There are slightly waves on the water. The boat sways with the waves. We need to constantly adjust our body to maintain the balance on the boat. Watch the movements of yourself in this E. Larger movements correspond with heavy wind. Smaller movements correspond with light wind. No movements correspond with no wind. This E suits for both expanding embracing stance and combat stance. There are basically no differences between the two except the foot steps. The weight transfer on the feet is slow and random. Muscles are relaxing all the time. Keep the stance and imagine two ants, each running under one of our feet. We can't tremble either of the ants to death and we can't let either of them slip away from our feet. The weight transfer on the feet is quick and disorganized. Muscles are relaxing all the time. This E suits for both expanding embracing stance and combat stance. There are basically no differences between the two except the footsteps. As one of the relaxing E, on a sponge suits for both expanding embracing stance and combat stance. There are basically no differences between the two except the footsteps. Imagine standing in a large sponge or matrix. The weight transfer on the feet is very flexible. Muscles are relaxing all the time.
keep holding pressing stains on parallel step. Imagine standing in a waist deep river. The water runs peacefully and slowly. Your palms hold a wooden plank floating on the water. Use your fingers and palms to gently press the plank. Control the plank so that it won't float away with the water running. Lean your body forward. Your leaning body drives your hands to push the plank forward while holding and pressing it. The weight of our body slowly transfers from the back sole to the front sole. When the distribution of your weight on your feet is seventy percent on the front sole, thirty percent on the back sole, lean your body backward. Your leaning body pulls your hands backward. Your hands pull the plank backward while holding and pressing it. The weight of your body slowly transfers from the front sole to the back sole. When the distribution of your weight on your feet is seventy percent on the back sole and thirty percent on the front sole, lean your body forward. Keep holding pressing stance on combat step. Imagine standing in a waist deep river. The water runs peacefully and slowly. Your palms hold a wooden plank floating on the water. Use your fingers and palms to gently press the plank. Control the plank so that it won't float away with the water running. Lean your body forward. Your leaning body drives your hands to push the plank forward while holding and pressing it. The weight of your body slowly transfers from the back foot to the front foot. When the distribution of your weight on your feet is seventy percent on the front foot, thirty percent on the back foot, lean your body backward. Your leaning body pulls your hands backward. Your hands pull the plank backward while you're holding and pressing it. The weight of your body slowly transfers from the front foot to the back foot. When the distribution of your weight on your feet is seventy percent on the back foot and thirty percent on the front foot, lean your body forward. On both steps, the velocity of leaning forward and backward is uniform. The weight transfer on the feet is constant. Muscles are relaxing all the time. For the embracing and expanding stance, or combat stance, with the E of inner leg, your body and the water are eventually unified as one. For the holding pressing stance on parallel step, or on combat step, your body, the water. And the plank are eventually unified as one. From this perspective, we can say the holding pressing stance has one more object, the wooden plank. So the body and the environment are more connected. Imagine standing in a waist deep lake, holding a big paper ball. Imagine standing in a waist-deep lake, grabbing a paper ball with each hand. Imagine holding a sleeping baby between your hands. Your E must be gentle enough so that you won't wake up the baby. Imagine holding a big paper ball. Imagine sun shining on your palms. For these four stances, we barely move. The E is gentle. Keep the holding pushing stance. Imagine palms holding a big paper ball and your fingers gently grabbing it. We keep pushing forward the ball, but not pushing it away. When pushing, all our muscles are tight. As soon as the pushing is done, all muscles become loose. Because pushing is instant, so being tight is instant too. Your muscles are being loose the rest of the time. Imagine standing in the waist-deep sand, 
Use your fingers along with elbows to lift. At the same time, your center of gravity goes up a little. As soon as lifting is done, relax and get back to the original stance. Then use your fingers along with elbows to insert into the sand. At the same time, your center of gravity goes down a little. As soon as inserting is done, relax and get back to the original stance, and then lift again and insert again. In this stance, when lifting, all our muscles are tight. As soon as the lifting is done, all muscles become loose. When inserting, all our muscles are tight. As soon as the inserting is done, all muscles become loose. Because pushing or inserting is instant, so being tight is instant too. Your muscles are being loose the rest of time. We now push forward the tree while embracing it. The body's weight transfers from the back to the front. The push forward action and the weight transfer are simultaneously quick. The body comes back to the original stance as soon as the pushing forward is finished. When pushing forward, all our muscles are tight. As soon as the pushing forward is done, all muscles become loose. Then we pull backward the tree while embracing it. The body's weight transfers from the front to the back. The pull backward action and the weight transfer are simultaneously quick. The body comes back to the original stance as soon as the pulling backward is finished. When pulling backward, all our muscles are tight. As soon as the pulling backward is done, all muscles become loose. We pull the tree upward while embracing it. Our center of gravity goes up a little, and the body's weight transfers from the back to the front when pulling upward the tree. The pull upward action, the center of gravity going up, and the weight transfer are simultaneously quick. The body comes back to the original stance as soon as the pulling upward is finished. When pulling upward, all our muscles are tight. As soon as the pulling upward is done, all muscles become loose. We now pull the tree downward while embracing it. Our center of gravity goes down a little, and the body's weight transfers from the front to the back when pulling downward the tree. The pull downward action, the center of gravity going down, and the weight transfer are simultaneously quick. The body comes back to the original stance. As soon as the pulling downward is finished, when pulling downward, all our muscles are tight. As soon as the pulling downward is done, all muscles become loose. We now squeeze in the tree with our arms and legs. The squeeze in action is really quick. The body comes back to the original stance as soon as the squeeze in is finished. When squeezing in, all our muscles are tight. As soon as the squeezing in is done, all muscles become loose. We now squeeze out the tree with our arms and legs. The squeeze out action is really quick. The body comes back to the original stance as soon as the squeeze out is finished. When squeezing out, all our muscles are tight. As soon as the squeezing out is done, all muscles become loose. That's pretty much for this video. Just want to emphasize in the end, muscles being tight is always instant. Muscles are loose most of the time. Bye bye. See you.